Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the uh, Miller T94IR. So this is their T94I helmet, but it's the Pepper system. So got it brand new today, uh, demo unit, um, and we're going to go through uh, all the features on the unit, um, how it feels, how it fits, and uh, how it works. So first off, it comes with a nice bag, a uh, nice carrying case. You got your internal uh, manual there for all the parts, pieces, and everything that you would need if it's all in there um, inside the manual for replacement parts, that sort of thing, part numbers. So first, just digging right into the bag, we got extra lenses, and then you can see in there extra side shields. They're actually the block, the blackout side shields. So and I'll go over that on this hood here in just a second, but those are the blackout, the um, peripheral viewing windows on there. So in the back here, so we got our belt unit here. This is the actual air unit that feeds the air to the hood so the battery goes here and this is the pump the air pump that pumps air filters it through here and then pumps it into the hood so it's a positive pressure hood so it's pushing air in on top of your face and then pushing the air out so keeping all the contaminants out but also giving you fresh air inside we got our tube that feeds our uh, from the air unit to the hood so that, that's the tube that goes from the hood there and then we got our helmet here so just at first glance it looks like a t94i um, so what's unique about these hoods and uh, these are very popular as far as the t94 series that very popular hoods um they're clear i mean and they got peripheral windows so you got almost 180 degree viewing range on those units um, it's got the clear light technology, so it, it's crystal clear vision. And then on this unit, it is the flip up for the grinding shield or the grinding lens there. So you can go from welding to flip that up to grinding, and you don't have to take your hood off, and you keep the papper hooked up. So pretty unique, very nice. Um, let's just see where this is going in the bag here. So we got some extra filters that go in the back of the uh, air power unit. We got our charger our power cord for our charger so it plugs in the back of that comes with those two and this unit here comes with a strap and then it also comes with two batteries so those batteries come in we'll have to open them up i and see if they're uh, got a charge or not i don't believe they come charged but there's a little bit in there so we can power it up and check it out so let's let's get this thing put together here just looking at our back pack unit or our belt strap unit so it's got shoulder straps already on it so comparatively to competitive units um, sometimes this is an add-on this one comes with it so you got your it, and now it's putting the weight on your shoulders and it's strapping around your waist so pretty unique let's get a battery open here so on online at bakersgas.com these units run right around 1545 and there is a bundle package that comes with it so with extra consumable items for this unit um let's slide this in so if you want to watch with me right there i got the battery out you can see contactor here contactor on that side it should just slide right in there until it clicks now we're in so got the battery in just to show you on the inside of this unit for where the filters are at that just pops open and then there's your NIOSH approved filter right there goes over top like that then on the inside of this unit this is a pre filter and then you have your screen so your screen traps uh, magnetic dust particles any kind of um, any kind of magnetic particle basically that's floating around in the air or any kind of uh, dust particle that sort of thing it traps it that thing you can either rinse it out or replace it. Um, it's just there as a pre-filter and then it goes through this filter here. And then everything should, now you can see on these little latches here, like little ears, it should just slide right down in. There we go. So that snaps right down in there. So I just had to realign that filter a little bit. Not, not a big deal. So now it's all tightly in there. Let's see if this thing will power up here. So we're on, that was just the on button. You can see nice big buttons on the back, so on, off. You hit on, you just hold it down. Now we're on low fan, as you can see. To go to high fan, 
Just click that one more time, bumps it up to high, and then turn it off. Just hold down the off button, and it'll shut the unit down. So this thing comes with audible alarms on it, so if your battery's dying, your filter's plugging up, um, it'll audibly beep, and it'll tell you what, whether you need to change the battery, or you can just look then at that point and see if your battery's low, or if the danger symbol's on, that means your filters are getting clogged up, your, you lost airflow somewhere. It's just letting you know that, hey, something's wrong, you need to take a look at it. Um, so on low setting, you get about six to eight hours runtime on one battery charge. And then on high setting, you get about four to six hours on high. Uh, the battery charges in about three hours. So it's kind of, I mean, it's a, might take a little bit longer to charge, but that's why they give you two. So you have one on backup and then you can replace them. Um, so let's get this thing hooked up here. Now the hose, as you can see, and I'm just looking here what's on the back side. Okay. So you got two ears right here and right there. There's an O-ring. I'd always check and see if there's a tear in that O-ring or anything like that. You got your two ears. So they're going to slide in and then you're going to just, there we go, twist. And you could hear that O-ring going in. Now we're in. And it's pretty in there, pretty tight. What I do like about this Miller unit, comes with a FR sleeve over your hose. Because as you can see, and this is replaceable, part number's in the manual, and we can link it below. But you can see that's a, a plastic air tube. So they put this FR sleeve over top. So if you get, you know, any kind of slag or sparks, heat next to it, it's gonna protect that hose. Now on the back side of this, you just push those two ears in on either side. It's kind of like a spray paint can. And you just click over top right there and it only goes on one way and you're you're locked in. So we're ready to put this thing on and give it a shot. Now standard new Miller headgear on this unit. Um, all very adjustable as you can see so i'm cranking it wide open but i just want to show you guys on the inside you got that top um comfort pad on the top that it comes with it's got that new comfort pad on the back very comfy headgear uh been very popular when they came out with that and that redesigned so let me get these labels and everything out of here Now this thing's NIOSH approved, um, everything on it, OSHA approved, it's, it's, it's good to go. So if you're in an environment, smoky, or uh, you're well on stainless, hexavalent chrome's a problem, you're gonna need to have one of these hoods. Um, feel the off there. There go. Now it comes, those lens, they have a protective lens on either side. But these just come out, and I'll show you on this one. They just unlock. And just like that. And don't be don't be afraid. You're not gonna break that, but it comes with a nice seal around there. So that's your grinding uh, shield. And it has a nice protective seal to keep all that dust out. But don't be afraid. You're not gonna break them little tabs. And I know a lot of people are scared to Give it a little flex, but should be okay. Now you get that line back up. Boom, we're in the lock position. So now that's good. Let me see here, get this protective off. So like I said before, the True Light technology on these new hoods, awesome. They're clear as day. Um, almost gives you like a blue tinge to them. They're awesome, I absolutely love them. So personally, I got, got three new Miller hoods that are Clear Light technology and I weld with every one of them and they're they are sweet um, i love the way they weld so let's give this thing a try on here another thing i wanted to point out though on your your viewing window so these are shade five on either side and like i said before they come with a blackout so if that bothers you on your 180 degree peripherals you can put the blackout in and it'll just it'll you won't be able to see out those sides but those are shade five so when you're welding it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a peripheral vision on either side when you're looking out Pretty cool. All right, let's get this thing. All right, so I got got that all hooked up. So the best way I think you want to do this is just put the hood on first.
And what I'm going to do, make sure my is all straight. Put my baklava down. I'm going to turn it on. So now we got it's got some good it's got some good airflow. So what I'm noticing is that I got airflow coming down from the top and I got airflow coming up from the bottom. And it's it's really flowing pretty good. I got it on high, so I adjusted my belt and my straps so it's not pulling too bad on my shoulder right now. But it's just sitting there. It's actually pretty comfortable. And then just a foot down. Well, so this baklava. It's supposed to be over the top to cover that tube in the back. It kind of protects that area from sparks and stuff popping up in there. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty clear. Well, let, me, let me see if I can get it back on here. Very cool. So it's pretty, it's pretty comfortable as far as going around. Um, I would definitely recommend though, before you put it back on, to adjust your uh, shoulder strap so if you notice here i had to adjust these a little bit so it made it i guess it sits lower on my back and then i adjusted the strap um very cool unit um and i think that thing would be great in a confined space area or some sort of a flux core environment where you're using a lot of, a lot of smoke a lot of um stuff going on even in a stainless steel environment it'd be perfect for it. so i'm gonna pop this off Real quick, and I'll show you guys something on the inside of this hood. So, as you can see there, air was flowing down through here and through there, and then I was getting a draft coming out the top. Um, very cool. So it's a positive pressure. So what it's doing is filling the inside of the hood and forcing my emissions out and then it's not letting anything else come inside but everything needs to be adjusted so you got to make sure this is all adjusted pulled down over your chin the only thing that i found difficult was adjusting my head strap after i got everything up because then that hose is right there you got to kind of reach in behind it and fil filter it, and then make sure this is always down over the top to kind of cover and protect that as always though all these parts are replaceable so if you lose your side knobs or any sort of this thing uh, gets dirty or needs replacement it's all velcroed right inside so you can take it out you can wash it and then put it right back in there uh then we, we're going to link this all below but we do sell all these extra pieces for all this baklava stuff and one big question is well how do we adjust my settings because if you can see down in here we'll do I just to show you here you know how how do you change your settings inside there? That's kind of difficult. You know, you can't reach from the inside. So the best way I would say is just lift that up a little bit and then turn it on. And then you can adjust your settings there. Right now we're on shade eight, which is on, there we go. Now we're in weld mode, which is shade 11. Um, and to adjust is over here, plus or minus on your shade. And then to go down, you go, you got cut, cut mode, grind mode, and then X mode is on shade eight. X mode really is just a um, mode that senses the magnetic arc or the magnetic field from the welding arc and it automatically darkens the hood. So if you're in a sunny environment and your, your hood keeps flashing because of the sun, you can put it on X mode and it'll stop doing that. And as soon as it, it senses that electromagnetic pulse from the welding arc, it'll auto darken. It's pretty, pretty awesome. X mode's pretty sweet. Um, I use it in an environment when there's a multiple arcs being struck because if we're welding and there's other five or six guys welding around you, that helmet's just going to constantly keep flashing. So we turn it on then, uh, we'll go back to weld, but then to turn it off, you just push and hold that button and it'll shut right off. So that's the best way I've found to change or adjust your settings on there. Uh, once again, there's two batteries in there and to change those, you just got to pop, pop it through the front and then the batteries are inside that lens. All in all, though, that hood is pretty sweet. I, I'm, 
I'm impressed by it, and I've worn a lot of different styles of Papper hoods. Um, this is one of the more comfortable ones and a little bit easier to operate. And the thing I uh, dislike about all these Pappers is the buttons are on the actual air pump on your back. So to get to it, um, it's a little bit tough. It's harder to see. Now, I'm not saying you can't reach it, but it's what button do you hit. You know, you might have to do some fumbling around to get to that. But all in all, it's a sweet little unit. And uh, uh, check it out online. And uh, if you got any comments or questions, please leave them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.